play some uh, play some tunes and show you what I got yesterday. I'm wearing my my summertime some so onesie. It's basically uh, washable, you know, water water resistant, everything, sweat repellent. You don't have to worry about a thing. Plus, it's really comfortable. What I wanted to show you is that yesterday, out of all these years that I've been camping, I never had a chair. And yesterday I sat on this for like a couple of hours. Very cool. This changes everything. All right. I've been storing my guitar like way down by the cliffs, hidden. But you can't find it. I can barely find it. I got stung by uh, either wasp or yellow jackets, but I knew that they're there, and it was a good place to hide the guitar because someone might get stung if they go looking for it. But this morning after I put my things in there, the uh, I got stung twice, and then one got stuck in my sock and it kept stinging me. So I ran back here, put salt on it. I didn't have any water, so I put chicken uh, chicken noodle soup on it. It's high sodium content. And rubbed in the salt, cured it, probably in 60 seconds. Gotta keep salt, gotta keep salt. But yeah, I don't know if he's cutting off my head or not. Let's see, gotta point this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, this uh, this is a an ACU uh, camouflage bivy bivy sack, and it's water uh, waterproof, water resistant, and it breathes really well. So, put my guitar in here, helps camouflage it, and then I sleep in it at night. Sure if I ever had to, I could sleep inside it with my guitar. <laughs> but it's basically a tent. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I got this guitar with uh, with your mom, Archie. I was uh, I was at Guitar Center, and uh, she let me pick this out. I keep a little uh, beanie on it to protect the head of it, so. Oh yeah. Put that on in the winter and jam out. I think I have some pictures of this. Uh, I do, around Christmas time. That's when, I, that's when I got down here, was about December 14. And I applied for visitation to see ya. December 25th, 24th, right before Christmas. I had to go back the next day actually, uh, Christmas Eve, because I, I didn't um I didn't write it, I didn't finish it. So I just wrote it really really quick on the spot from my heart. I might read it to you a little later, but uh yeah. Let's see. I've never really done a uh sit down and uh, spoken directly to you Archie Archer but I'm your dad my name is Robert Ruskin Ewing you can call me dad or you can call me Ruskin or Ruckin if you can't say the S <laughs> but uh, I like technology I'm into music and uh, I got a cool uh, water resistant uh, army laptop. Sorry I say a lot. Let me check to see if this is recording. The last thing you want to do is keep talking the whole time. <laughs> it's not recording. But yeah this is a this is all this is all dirty but it's the ACU print that matches the the baby sack. Yeah, so this is what the baby sack looks like when it's uh, new. The ACU print. This is what it looks like it's dirty. 
Oh, no, I'm just excited to finally sit down and talk to you and uh, tell, and, uh, <laughs> tell you I love you. I think about you. I've thought about you every single day since I started this journey. When your mom uh, left with you, it took about a year for me to understand what I lost and how time is precious. Even though you're going on four years old now, and there's time that I can't take back, get back, I think that with radical acceptance, I can just cherish the moments moving forward, and we can just hang out, kick it, do whatever you want. There's a lot of things I want to teach you. A lot of things that you probably have to teach me. And, yeah, so. This is that that battery bank thing, and I have <laughs> I have a tape of the light because I don't want it to signal helicopters. But it looks like that thing's been on for a little minute. Oops. Gotta watch that. Maybe I should put something protect to protect that so it doesn't turn on accidentally. But 300 watts, charge laptop later. So I can try and edit these videos. These I wanted to show you, Archie, that um, I took a parenting class. This is a certificate for that class. It was called Dad's Matter, and it was about how important the role is of a father, all the things that uh, they that they can they can teach, and the identity that they give the child, and how important that is. I learned how to co co-parent. It's very important for two parents to get along as much as possible no matter what, um, just to raise a, a good, healthy child. Um, this is the paperwork that went along with it, so I can probably put that on the screen later and show you. But it says September 25, 2019, so it's 15 days after your birthday. That would have been a perfect time to see you. You would have been Two years old? Two years old. I really wanted to see you in year two. Two on. This is hard for me to comprehend, but we're going to get through it. It says, Mr. Ewing <clears throat> enrolled into the Dad's Matter program on January 23rd, 2019. <clears throat> They're currently... Excuse me, sorry. It says... Let me start over. It says... Mr. Ewing enrolled into the Dad's Matter program on January 23rd, 2019. They are currently attending the Dad's Class Club, which met weekly. He attended 14 classes for a total of 28 hours on the dates below. And it has the dates. Then it says, the Dad's Club class utilizes an evidence-based curriculum supporting father involvement, SFI, SFI is a 32-hour parenting and healthy relationship curriculum with a focus on fathers and their parent partners or co-parents. This class is facilitated by two group leaders that facilitate learning topics and activities that target several risk factors, including that are associated with fathers' involvement with their kids. Topics include, but are not limited to, self-concept, and personal goals for change, involvements, impact on children's development and health, identifying and strengthening positive qualities of the co-parenting relationship, etc. Should you require any further information about the participants' progress, feel free to call me or email me at this number, Susan Velatero, case manager, Anaheim Boulevard, Anaheim, California. And I got my 
parenting certificate for that. That's good. Also, around, uh, let's say, maybe June or July of, of 2017 or January. I'm not sure when I first went to college hospital, but in 2000, November 2017, I got off of that van and uh, I have the, I think I have the uh, CVS. The CVS only goes back so far. So I kept printing out the, the CVS to show Still recording. Well, 11 minutes. Right, let's keep going before I I run out of energy. But yeah, okay, Archer. Your dad was on Ativan for about nine years. And recently, for the last maybe two and a half years, I haven't taken a single benzodiazepine. I have been completely sober off of Ativan. Um, otherwise, I probably would have never gotten off of it. And so I'm very grateful to your mom and to you for waking me up and, you know, giving me the time that I do have left on earth. Uh, something to live for. CVS. It says, the last lorazepam, five of uh, the May of 2017 was the last John Hyam prescribed me. Then the last one I got from Joseph Chun was 9-25-2017. Um, I think the very, very last one might have been let's see yeah 925 2017 September so right 15 days after your birthday 17 so you turn one years old and I was like, I've had it. My baby's my baby's one years old. I'm getting off the Adam again. I don't. Here comes an airplane. I don't know if I was really ready at that time to to continue, but uh, I mean to to see you. Sorry, to return to whatever. But I do know that. I would have liked to, I would have loved to, I would have loved to see you at one, one years old. I got it, I got into therapy. I could have done supervised visitations from at least one. For the last three years, I could have seen you. But yeah, I got into college hospital and it says, nominee client of the month. And man, did I, did I have, uh, a lot of frustration and, and things to learn at College Hospital. So to get this, even though I wasn't the client, is really special. Actually, it's on my birthday. Oh, February 2018. By Program Director and Case Manager, Anita Israel. And while there, I got a letter. I had to photocopy it because they, uh, I went back to get an update on this and the assistant director lost it. I had so many issues. The program director says she wouldn't sign off on a new one. So at least I have this. It says two years at intensive therapy outpatient. December 27, 2017. You're one year, three months. 
says, To whom it may concern, Robert E. has been attending program beginning 11-16-2017. As of today, he has attended a total of 21 days and has been compliant in attending and working towards meeting his goals that include but are not limited to addressing his substance abuse issues. Since it says, since this, I have completed over 200 days here on 9-19-2019. Yeah, I was ready to come see you, see you, son. Drink some water. When things happen that are out of your control, or when things happen that were out of my, are out of my control, I like to, initially it's almost impossible, but I like to look at it as quickly as I can as a blessing, as an opportunity to learn, to correct course. It's just hard to, to find people to be around that you can trust that are going to give you good advice. So be careful who you surround yourself with, Johnny. Oh, this is the best thing ever. Archie, let me see if I'm still recording. 17 minutes. Archie, this is your birth certificate. When you were born, I signed something saying that I was your dad. So, this is kind of evidence that I'm your father and even though lawyers have told me that it's impossible to, you know, prove anything. I mean, it's, it's like, this doesn't, this doesn't say, you know, that, that I'm, I'm legally your father, but for me, it matters. So I'm going to take a little break and when I come back, uh, I'm going to play you a song, Archie. Let's see. All right. Cool, huh? I started doing this like three years ago. I never in my life been able to hold on to, to paperwork, so that's really cool. All right, I'll be right back. Oops. <laughs> 